What's up, you guys? My name is JT. I'm a singer and songwriter for Famous Last Words and Postscript, and today I'm going to be going over this beast of a vocal plugin. Uh, it's called Howard Benson Vocals, just released by Joey Sturgis Tones. Uh, real quick, thank you, Joey, for sending this to me. Super pumped. Um, you guys did such an awesome job. So what, what Joey and Howard did, uh, for those of you who are just learning about this plugin, is they they basically created a vocal chain, a whole vocal chain, uh, in one plugin. It's It saves you so much uh, CPU power, like if you have a huge vocal chain, which a lot of us do to get a nice, crisp, shimmery kind of sound, uh, it can be really bog down your computer and use a lot of CPU. This condenses it all into one plugin. Um, and it makes just your perform the performance on your computer so much better, which is huge, uh, especially if you have a not very powerful computer. So before I dive into this too much, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my experience. I am very new to vocal production and pr production in general. I've written a lot of songs. I've recorded a bunch my entire life, basically. And before I'd write on, on my phone, like I'd have this, this one, uh, this one program called Music Studio, and it was great. Um, it was super simple, basic MIDI stuff. Uh, n you couldn't really do that much with it, and definitely not record audio. You could, there was an option, but it was garbage, absolutely terrible. So I moved to Ableton, got my big boy pants on, and you know tried to, to do more professional stuff. And with that comes recording vocals. And it's something I struggled a whole lot with. I'd have a super long vocal chain, like I was saying, and I wouldn't know like what order uh, the the effects and the plugins should go in. And it got to this point where I was just so frustrated. So having having something like this, this new plugin, it's amazing. So without further ado, let's let's open this up and check it out. So okay, here we go. So this is the plugin. As you can see, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little modules here. Um, you can't move them around, but that's okay because this order of operations here works great. Um, and it's really, it, when you look at it, it's it's so simple. It's just uh, the GUI is so, so nice to look at. Um, it's not overwhelming at all because I've dealt with that with some plugins. I open it up and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. Let's, and, and you almost don't even want to touch it anymore because it's just... Like, what are you supposed to do with it? But this, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, um, and it it looks great. So let's um, let's go over the song really quick. I wrote this song, Joey. I wrote the song for you, well, for this video. The vocal part I did, it's like a pretty dynamic vocal part, uh, kind of some little whispery singing, some more powerful parts, and it it really shows what this as a as a plugin can do. Uh, to give you that really professional sound. So let's first play it. I have, I'll turn it off and we'll see what it sounds like without anything. I think I've turned it off on all of the channels. Yep. Okay. So let's, let's just give this a listen so you can hear what it sounds like with no uh, processing whatsoever, just the dry vocal. Right off the bat, you can you can hear how there's uh, I mean you can barely hear it. It's <laughs> and that was it, it's a good signal like, but you can barely hear it. It doesn't sit in the mix at all. It doesn't sound. It doesn't have that crispy, clean shimmer sound that you want from a professional vocal. Um, it's just a dry signal. It doesn't sound that great at all. So let's open this up and see how we can make this sound. Um, I'm gonna just solo this vocal for right now. All right, so let's um, we'll just go you know left to right. Let's start with the compression. Bump that a little bit. Find what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. Find what you love and define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna touch the grit, but. 
you know, with, just for showing off the plugin, let's give it a shot and see what it sounds like. Define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. Okay, I could see where that would be handy to, to, you know, give it a little warmer tone, but we're just going to leave that down for now. Let's just go over to the EQ um, for the higher frequencies. Let's bump those a little bit. Bump that a little bit. Define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. Okay. Um, and I've given it up the will to make it through the night. There. Define what you... I like that so far. Uh, the multiplier, it's pretty... Uh, pretty intimate little part we're not gonna double the vocal or anything but i might mess with the width to give it a little bit more body so define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes oh wow man even with just i like barely did anything with that and it just uh widened it up just a little bit to give it to make it sound a little more full so define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes I think that sounds awesome. And that's that's really the key here is um, I think to really master this plugin is to, to be subtle with it. So we're just going to keep subtly adding um, effects to it. So let's go over to the echo. Define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. Damn, just a little bit really and does it. And it up the will to make it through the night. Define what you love so the and you let on, fate open the up echo. your eyes. Sounds great. What is it if we just go crazy with it? Define what fine with fine with fine with fine with fine Define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. Man, so if you're really just trying to go for more of like effects on it and not uh and not to dial in like a main vocal, like just you can do so much with this because that, that sounds so clean. Um so you can go crazy with it, or you can just do like the subtle stuff that I was doing. Define what you love, and you let fate open yeah, awesome. up your eyes. Um, space is so that's gonna be your and reverb right here. It up the will to make it through the night. Make the room a little bit Define smaller. what you love, and you let fate open up your eyes. Yeah. And I've given it up the will to make it through the night. Oh, that Define so crispy. what you love okay. and you let fate open up your eyes. So that's with it on. Now I love that it has this little bypass here, so we can just turn it off instead of going, you know, over to the, the plugin in Ableton or whatever DAW you're using. So let's see. This is without it. Define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. Okay, and with it. And I've given it up the will to make it through the night. Define which That sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. But really, you're not going to be listening to a vocal soloed. A big part of this is getting it to sound good in the mix. And I think that's where this can really shine. So let's unsolo the vocal and see what it sounds like. This part sounds like with the actual music. Define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. It's got this alpha gain too, that's kind of nice. it up the will to make it through the night. Mm. Define what you love and you let fate open up your eyes. Sounds so awesome. And you can tell the difference between like you can barely hear it, but there's this part going right here, right afterwards. Um that is running dry right now, as you can see, and you can barely even hear it when it plays. Can you let fate open up your eyes? Yeah, it's like it's not even there. Um, I already kind of messed with the settings on this, so I'm just going to turn both of these back on and see what it sounds like. Define what you love, can you let fate open up your eyes? that's awesome so yeah let's let's look at what i did here um i actually messed with one of the presets that were on here because there's tons of presets it's the the joey Sirtis country male vocals with effects 
and I liked how this one sounded for kind of doing like this this background vocal sound. Um, I turned the the lower frequencies way down. Um, it sounds awesome. There's actually so many, um, oop, so many presets. Like that's all the Howard Benson presets, and then I'm assuming these are, you know, yeah, all these other producers. Like so many presets, which is super cool. Um, that you can just kind of start here, and it gives you a a beautiful starting point. Yeah, that sounds amazing. So, yeah, let's go back to this main vocal. I barely did anything to this. And it sounds incredible. So again, let's um let's take a listen to this this main vocal with the music with and without the plugin running again, just to give you guys a really clear idea of how much better it sounds with this with this plugin without really doing much of anything at all. Um, it took me like a minute to just go from left to right through these. And I'm sure if you spent a lot longer with it, you could really dial this in to sound amazing. I mean, it already sounds amazing, but you could really take it to the next level, I'm sure. Define what you love, and you let it open up your eyes. Yeah. Uh. And I've given it up the will. Oof. That's amazing. Um, so, yeah, just with such little effort, I went from this dry vocal that didn't really sit in the mix or it just kind of, you know, it was bleh. It sounded bland. And just barely any effort, I went from bland to, you know, sparkly and finished. My mind is blown. All in one plug-in. CPU's not running hot at all. Define what you love. Yeah. Um, no pops and cracks like you'd get if you were running like a billion plugins on something. I'm I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. I already kind of went through and like I said, edited all of these. So let's just turn them on. I kind of mixed them in all together already, and let's see what this sounds like all together, all finished. Each each track has an instance of Howard Benson vocals running on it, and let's see what it sounds like all together. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Howard, Joey, thank you so much for the incredible plugin. Joey, I know you keep putting out some awesome stuff, and I can't wait to see what you come out with in the future. 